Hello, my name is Birjan Alan. I will show my study assessment of placental stiffness using acoustic radiation force impulse elastography in pregnant women with fetal anomalies. We aim to evaluate placental stiffness measured by acoustic radiation force impulse elastography in second trimesters of pregnant women with a normal fetus versus dots with structural anomalies and non-structural findings. Both pregnant women carrying a fetus with structural anomalies were diagnosed sonographically between 18 28 weeks of gestational and formative study group. The control group consists of 34 healthy pregnant women with a sonographically normal fetus at a smaller gestational age. Placenta shear wave velocity was measured by RV elastography and compared between groups. Structural anomalies and non-structural findings were scored based on the sonography markers. Placenta stiffness measurements were compared between categories of fetuses with anomaly. Doppler parameters of umbilical and uterine arteries were compared with placental shear wave velocity measurements. All pregnant women were screened for fetal anomaly by examination on B mode ultrasonography. Each ultrasonography included a structural fetal survey and standard biometry. Placenta thickness and morphology were evaluated. Each fetus was assigned a, so a score based on sonography markers in scoring system. Major markers and technical fault were assigned a score of 2. Major structural anomalies included findings such as heart, heart defects, omphalo cell, ventricular megaly, lymph animal abnormalities. Each fetus was scored by some of abnormality markers. Short femur, short humerus, pielectasy, hyperechoic bowel, echogenic intracardiac focus, choroid flexus keys were assigned a score of 1. Patients were examined for placenta solid components, RV elastography. Measurements in the supine position with breath holding status. VTQ values were recorded from six different loca locations of the placenta, including placenta chorionic basement and central parts of RV imaging. As you see in picture, we measured placental elasticity. The region of interest was placed at the center of anterior placenta in normal fetus. The placental elasticity value was 0.74 meter second. Now, in second picture, the region of interest was placed at center of anterior placenta in fetal anomaly. The placental elasticity value was 1.38 m second. Here, wave velocity was recorded from a region of interest. The shear wave velocity values obtained from RV method were recorded as minimum shear wave velocity maximum shear wave velocity and mean shear wave velocity values. In the study group, mean shear wave velocity, maximum shear wave velocity and mean shear wave velocity were higher compared to healthy controls. In the correlation analysis, pulsatile index values of the uterine artery was positively correlated, correlated with mean, max, and mean shear wave velocity of placenta. There was no correlation between placental thickness and elasticity parameters. As you see in box plot, mean shear wave velocity value was higher than healthy controls. Results of 
Rock curve analyzes to predict fetal anomaly based on mean shear wave velocity, maximum shear wave velocity, and mean shear wave velocity were moderate with area under rock curve. For mean shear wave velocity, 0.661. For maximum shear wave velocity, 0.609. For mean shear wave velocity, 0.644. In conclusion, placenta stiffness evaluated with RV elastography during the second trimesters of pregnant women with a fetus with fetal anomaly was higher than that of pregnant women with a normal fetus.